Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how much things have changed in the five years that I've been here already. I know, I can't believe it's already been five years since I've been living out here in Mexico, but more specifically, Merida, Mexico. Merida is the capital of the Yucatan, and I'm out here in, uh, you know, living in paradise, you know, uh, as uh, some people might say. Um, some people might not like it out here because of the weather. I love it right now. It is December, last week of December, as you're watching this, you know, and uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful 70, 72 degrees. Um, it's uh, around 4.20 p.m. Um, right now, and the sun is coming down, and we're gonna, you already know what we do. We're gonna be taking a, the usual walk and talk that we used to do all the time. If you guys uh, have been tuning in for, you know, on the, you know, if you've been tuning in since I've been living here for, you know, over almost about five years now, you guys already know, you guys already know that I used to do so many videos, so many videos walking down Paseo Montejo, which is, in fact, I used to live right down that street. All right, this is Paseo Montejo and 41st, all right, 41. And I used to, I used to literally live a few blocks down and I used to walk and walk all the way to Walmart every single episode. <laughs> well, not every episode, but just about every episode that was my, my thing. And I used to do that. So in today's episode, you already know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna point the camera forward as uh, we do. And, um, and we're gonna look at Paseo Montejo and we're gonna be looking at, you know, how, how much things have changed. And on top of how much things have changed, you know, um, you know by what you're looking at um also i'm going to tell you about how much things have changed because they have changed a lot that is 100 percent. and right now again as you're watching this you're going to be watching this you know um at the very beginning of 2023 and we are you know simply uh you know you're going to be watching this at some point throughout the year um it might not be um on january 1st it could be on another date but uh, we're just a few weeks away, I mean, a few days away from ringing in the new year. And I said to myself, hey self, you know, what kind of video am I gonna do for the first, you know, episode of the year? And, um, you know, I had a bunch of things that were, you know, twirling in my mind and, you know, you're gonna be seeing them in future episodes coming up now. Um, but for now, I said, hey, you know, I think this will be a great episode. I was gonna save this episode um, for my anniversary, to tell you the truth, you know, for my five-year anniversary out here. Um, but I said to myself, nah, I think it'll be probably better right now because, I don't know, I just feel like it's just better right now because things have just changed so much and so dramatically and in such a short amount of time. It's incredible. And, um, you know, that's what we're going to be talking about here. You know, I mean, before we get onto the rent, oh, wow, look how packed. By the way, it's a Tuesday afternoon, as I was saying earlier. But um, if you guys, you know, remember for, you know, a little trivia out there, this is where I met Christian. You know, this was our first date, and this is bas basically the best ice cream place in all of Merida. Okay, Dulceria Colon, all right? I would highly suggest you guys come and visit this place. They have one in El Centro, and this is the one in Paseo Montejo, and they got them all over the place. And uh, there's a place that has all kinds of knickknacks. This has been here for a million years <laughs> just like the ice cream place anyways but a lot of the things that they've done just here you know um for example they've added bike lanes they've uh you know um made um a lot of you know the traffic out here better a lot more businesses have popped up and things have just you know um gotten better in the five years that i've been here but uh, one of the things you know a, a major thing that uh you know did change you know since i've been here and you know i might as well address it because i feel like it's like a little bit of the elephant in the room but i remember when i first moved out to mexico this whole thing was still an adventure you know this whole thing was still um you know for crazy people you know for people that you know had lost their mind or they just couldn't hack it back home and you know you, you already know you already know what it was what it meant to be you know to to live abroad or to you know not live you know in your home country it wasn't necessarily like uh, the proudest thing, you know, for a lot of people to talk about. Um, it's usually like, oh yeah, Uncle Jose, you know, he f went bamboo. He's living out there in the Philippines. He's living out there in Mexico. He's living out there, whatever. And, uh, you know, that's how it usually was, you know. 
um, you know, for the longest time. In fact, you know, um, anyone that would live abroad was always looked at as kind of kooky. Well, I, you know, well, depending on the job and, you know, where they lived, you know, it's like, oh, he's living in London. Oh, wow, that's amazing. As opposed to like, oh, he's living in uh, some, <laughs> oh, he's living in Merida. Merida, where's that? In Mexico. Oh, okay, where's that? <laughs> Where in Mexico, you know? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Or it's like, you know, just so, so many things like that. So, but in the time that I've been here, man, have things changed. And, you know, they've changed, you know, all over the world. I don't need to, you know, uh, state the obvious. But a lot of you guys know um, the, the major change that, you know, had, you know, has happened since uh, 2020. And um, all of a sudden now, you know, we're kind of like uh, getting back to normal, <laughs> right? Getting back to normal from, uh, you know, from what, you know, uh, we were used to. And uh, in that time, in that time, uh, a lot of people have... Uh, decided that they don't want to be where they are anymore and they want to move and they want to leave and they want to come to a brand new place you know that just might fit their needs a little bit more whether they be financial or whether they be freedom or whatever it is and so you know all of a sudden moving out here coming out here to mexico has become like a a completely different thing or moving abroad has become like a completely different thing it's not looked upon anymore as a, a crazy thing. It's not looked upon anymore like, uh, you, you know, like how do you, how are you even gonna do it? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, the thing is, it's like now it's like, again, like the cool thing to do. It's like the nice thing to do, you know, in the sense of like, oh wow, look, he's gonna go live abroad. Wow, look at the, the balls on that person. Look at the cojones on that person that he's gonna go on ahead and uh just you know do what a lot of us want to do and uh, live their best life aka you know go where they're treated best go live you know um go go you know if you can't get what you want where you are then why are you still there so you know a lot of people you know have moved out here but <clears throat> with that being said i remember when i first moved out here again now for for a lot of you guys that don't know my story i came out here with nothing i came out here with just a you know a, a few bags a thousand five hundred bucks to my name basically nothing starting over from the very beginning after losing everything and uh i came out here and um I, there was no youtube videos per se there was no um handy dandy book on how to come out here and survive and make it on uh on nothing on you know on a very 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 modest cheap budget there was no guide for that i mean basically the only people that would do things like that are people that were you know constantly you know hitchhiking from place to place or staying in hostels you know or you know staying in places like that or doing things like that and um it wasn't like a thing and so the reality was that like you know when i decided to come out here it, it was like you're gonna do what you're gonna come to mexico and do what with what what money what you know what job do you have lined up what uh you know how how are you gonna do this why are you gonna do this isn't it like insanely crazy to do it but i thought to myself no it's a lot crazier and more insane to stay where i am now and uh not make any progress and keep spinning my wheels and yada 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 so i took the risk and uh i came out here and not only did i take that risk and come out here but i recorded a lot of it and i made videos on that topic and as i did that well all of a sudden a bunch of other people started to do that now i you know i don't think i'm the one that was the sole uh, proprietor there you know the one that was the sole um uh, what is it like um, motivation for people to make videos but it is it is kind of funny <laughs> to see that um as i've been living here um, how many um, other you know people are making content on living on here and making it a lot easier for anyone that wants to come out here because you know I came out here and there was nobody nothing just you know a few channels out there I think it was like Tangerine Travels um, a few of the retirees out there um, Kinetic Keenans you know the Kinetic Keenans don't even live out here anymore all right <laughs> um, and I could go on and on um, you know there was just a, a few just a handful it wasn't that many and um, all of a sudden now as i'm doing research you know to try to make better videos for you guys out here um you know my youtube search is all of a sudden now filled 
filled with so many people because a lot of times when I meet some of you guys, you guys ask, you know, tell me, hey, do you know XYZ YouTuber? Do you know XYZ? I don't know. And the reality is that then no, I don't know anyone. I don't know any other YouTuber. I don't know any other content creator out there. At least not Mexico content creation or anything like that. No travel related. I do know some other YouTubers, but unrelated. Unrelated to what you know we're doing here at like 100%. So, but the reality is is that it, it is just pretty interesting how you know all of a sudden now it's uh, I think that's why it's like chic and that's why I think it's a lot cooler to all of a sudden like pick up your bags and start a new in a new country, namely Mexico, because all of a sudden, you know, you have, you know, a bunch of other people that are recording their experiences as to what life is out here. And you are slowly realizing what a lot of people are realizing that, wait a minute, you know, things are basically the same as they are back home, only better. You know, in, in fact, the way I like to describe it is that, you know, just look at it like you moved to L.A., but you can only afford to li live in East L.A., and you can only afford to live in the Mexican Spanish barrio or in Koreatown, where everything is in Korean. And, uh, you know, you just got to learn some language, you know what I mean? You got to learn a little bit of a Korean or a little bit of a Spanish or a little bit of whatever language it is that you need in order to, you know, make it happen there. So. By the way, I'm only here because I have to make a quick stop. It's just that I was in mid-thought and I did not want to, uh, you know, just finish. You know, I might as well just, you know, show you a little bit of uh, what's around here. All right. I know. Uh, I don't like being on camera that much, as much as you might think I like to be on camera. But anyways, you know, we're going to pick this up, you know, on the other side. All right. I'm going to be talking a lot more about, see, I made, I made some notes. It's a little harder to make these videos while I'm walking and talking. You know, but the reality is, is that... Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say, yeah, the fact that it ain't so different out here after all. You know, in fact, you know, we're gonna be talking about this in future videos and I'm gonna be pointing out um, things that other YouTubers, you know, cannot point out because, you know, I know the language. I know Spanish, I know the language. Um, a lot of the customs, you know, even though they might be very different because I'm Cuban and it's Mexico, things are very different. A lot of things are very much the same. And I was, you know, in my YouTube feed, I get all kinds of recommendations and I get recommendations now for, you know, for Spanish stuff. And so I don't want to get too deep into it, but long story short, you know what I mean? Like I was, I've been watching videos of what life was like out here in Mexico, like in the 70s, in, in the 60s, in the 80s. And, and I'm like, wait a minute, this is not that different to how it was back home. And then, you know, I, I start, putting two and, start putting two and two together, meaning, wait a minute, I've been living here for a while. And things are pretty much the same as they are back home. I'm standing in front of a Starbucks. I'm standing in front of a, a bank. I'm, I'm in a very touristy place. Um, I, you already know. You guys have watched my videos and watch other videos and know how how much alike it is out here, like it is back home. Walmart's like a block away, you know. And uh, you know, with that being said, you know we have been fed a lie, fed this major lie that this is a third world country and that things out here are you know basically backwards and upside down, and they kind of are. We'll talk about that a little more later, but it's not, you know, what it seems. And I've been pleasantly surprised, and I've been sharing that with you guys, you know, throughout the years as I've been making videos here, and I plan to continue doing that um, as soon as I come back from this break. All right, guys, so where were we? We were talking about, again, just uh, the whole moving out here to Mexico, moving out here to Medellin. Again, let me uh, flip this guy around, as you guys know. You don't need to look at my face. Um, but yeah, so, you know, a lot of things have changed, you know, um, in the whole time that I've been here. Again, mainly with the fact that there are, you know, so much more resources these days and making the move so much easier. And, um, and a lot of people out there have made it so much cooler. You know what I mean? Just it's cool to, you know, come out here, live out here and that whole thing. You know, just like, uh, you know, back in the day, back in the day, living in your van down by the river was not necessarily a cool thing until, you know, a bunch of people started making a bunch of YouTube videos about van life and how nice and glamorous and all that stuff, you know, and glammed it up. And before you know it, um, you know, and now it's cool to live in a van down by the river. Um, and you already know. So, I mean, that's, you know, just like this as well. You know, a lot of people have glamorized living out here. Um, and a lot of people have accused me of uh, glamorizing living out here. But, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, I'm just, you know, telling you like it is. I, as you know, most of the time I point the camera forward. Maybe you'll see my head sometimes here or there. But the reality is, is that for the most part, you know what I mean? I like to, uh, you know, show you 
what's really going on and um that's what i'm going to continue doing as we go forward in fact like i was telling you in the live stream the you know the the last live stream of the year um the last thing that i uploaded you know before you're watching this um basically as i was talking about there you know um we're making a huge transition we're doing a bunch of things out here and one of the things that i'm going to be doing is uh wait for it wait for it surprise i want to continuously leave you guys on cliffhangers all right no sorry actually someone uh, a fan one of you guys you know saw me walking down the street said hi sorry you know i wanted to say hi all right let's get back into it but yeah okay so what is a major thing that i'm going to be doing going forward is going to be a major change to this channel going forward guess what guys i'm going to be starting a business now like i already said you know i've been here for a long time you know i'm about to embark on five years being out here and i came out here with nothing and i had to start all over again and um you know now it's at the point where i'm ready to start a business you know um an actual business now i'm not gonna get too deep into it you know you guys are gonna be watching it and it's gonna be an actual business you know meaning like a business like you're seeing everywhere around you you know what i mean so um with that said you know what i mean like you already know how i do on this channel i show you everything and how i do everything and how things progress and so i'm going to be doing that as well so on this channel i'm going to be telling you guys how you as well can come out here and do the same thing because a lot of you guys you know let's just be honest you know you're my age you know we're in the same kind of situation and um you know you just want to start over again and part of starting over again and one of the things that really you know um entices you about coming out here is you know being able to start your own business being able to start all over again and being able to get a second chance and um a lot of you, and there's no real videos or there's no content or anything like that out there talking about this in fact you know content on mexico these days is just trying to scare you more and more to not come out here but that's another story for another day you know what we're going to be doing here is uh you already know is just continuously making the same kind of content let's see what this guy's going to do all right <laughs> i'll play chicken with a bicycle i don't care i used to play football anyways so long story short is that yeah you know we're going to be showing you um how i start my business and obviously you know it's going to be something that's going to be able to translate you know to you guys as well you know um because it's not really going to matter what business i start or what business i do um you guys are also going to be um if you're involved if you're looking for that kind of information it doesn't matter what business you are, are looking to start it's going to be a lot of the same information and you'll see what i mean as we you know get more uh in depth with that because uh you know as i learn myself you know i'm going to be talking to you guys about it teaching you guys about it showing you guys about you know the whole process of starting a business out here whatever business it might be all right now we gotta start walking back all right i gotta run across let me see if i can do it see it says three two one <laughs> all right we made it see i was uh i was uh pendejeando as they like to say which means you know just uh i was eating poo poo and i wasn't paying attention <laughs> seems like the 15s or a wedding someone's getting their pictures taken there awesome cool all right let's keep it rolling let's keep it rolling here but as i was saying yeah well, that's one of the things i'm going to be doing so um and by the way why am i starting a business a lot of you guys are always asking me hey, what do you do for a living what do you how do you make money yada 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 well how i used to make money i used to you know do gigs for people online and you know edit videos and do that kind of stuff and that kind of content you know to make a few bucks then i moved out here and after making these videos you know i i we get hired for you know out you know to help people so a lot of people needed like a personal assistant a lot of people needed uh guidance a lot of people needed all kinds of things so i just started charging people for my one-on-one -on -one services one-on-one -on -one help one-on-one -on -one everything and uh you know and i still do so you know by the way if anyone's interested in moving out here all right to mexico and you guys want to do a one-on-one -on -one zoom call with me it's uh 50 an hour all right and um we get to talk about anything and everything you want how i like to do is just basically i want to answer all your questions all right i'm not strict about the hour i'm not a lawyer or an accountant okay so but um but yeah 50 bucks for a zoom call and i'll answer all your questions and then some um things that we can't talk about on the channel for obvious reasons there's a uh, very famous starbucks here it's been here for 700 years it's been a staple of Post paseo montejo since it's been here in fact i think the starbucks was there before paseo montejo Bruh. the spanish brought it 
not quite sure <laughs> so anyways <laughs> um yeah my side gig is comedian that's why again i'm starting a business i'm running out of money no, <laughs> no but the reality is is that you know the reason i'm starting a business is because i need to eat i need to pay my bills and uh you know the reality is is that i wasn't able to do anything because of the pandemic and uh other situations i wasn't really able to start anything and so now this year going forward i'm already laying the groundwork you know to get rolling and hopefully have the business started within the next few months um so you know by february maybe or something like that and that's the hope we'll see but in the next few months you know what i mean very very early and you guys are going to be watching and uh knowing all about it but anyways you know, I know a lot of you guys, you know, like to send donations. I shout out to all the patrons. Shout out to all the members. By the way, I just need a few more members. And um, that way, once I get more than 10 members, you guys will be on my YouTube page. And uh, you guys can see yourselves on the YouTube page. But anyways, shout out to all the patrons. Shout out to all the, you know, you know, uh, contributors. You know, everyone that sends $1, $5, $50, whatever. Anything that you guys uh, send, you know, uh, as an appreciation for all the help. All the free help that I've given you guys. And by the way... Uh, you don't have to give me anything this is why i do this for free because i know there's a lot of people that when they were making this move or now you're watching this and you're making this move and you have zero you got nothing you got bupkis just like i had and i couldn't afford 50 bucks you know to pay for an hour i couldn't afford nothing so you know let, you know so um i know a lot of you guys are in the same position so that's why i provide all this free information that you guys can access at any time over and over again and um i greatly appreciate all the views and subscribers and everybody out there so anyways yeah but shout out to everyone out there that has helped and contributed to the show but as i was saying that's not enough for me you know to really not just pay my bills but do what i want to do with life you know and um it just basically you know barely gets me by and i'll be honest i mean a lot of you guys know you know i made some smart investments you know during the pandemic and uh they all played out everything worked out but you know it is what it is and uh we got to get back to work and uh you know <laughs> i have the chops you know um to start businesses and uh in the and i'm in the i used to be uh <laughs> you know a restaurant tour i used to you know help people with their own businesses i used to do all kinds of crazy things like that so the reality is is that you know we're just going to get back into it and we're going to start uh making money again and um you know in order to fund you know more content on this channel because again i, I want to keep making content for this channel i want to show you guys different things i want to show you guys uh you know the continual growth of me coming out here you know with absolutely nothing and growing uh you know now you know not, remember i came out here with nothing all of a sudden you know not only um five years later am i you know married with a awesome awesome wife and awesome home and awesome life and awesome everything but you know i'm out here about to start a, a business an actual you know business that uh, will be able to sustain me and my family and others you know going forward and uh you know it's only the beginning it hasn't even started to me in my opinion i feel like we have uh, so much more you know to explore so much more to show so much more to do and so you know you're going to be seeing you know i remember i have a, a bunch of other channels i got like a you know a cooking channel and uh and I have other channels out there and we're going to be integrating those channels okay with a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing with the business and it's going to be pretty cool to bring it by to you guys you know so you guys can see and uh, contribute and for some of you guys that come out here to visit you know of course you'll be able to visit me visit the business <laughs> and um and all that good stuff so you know I think it's going to be really cool really awesome 2023 I'm very much looking forward to it and i hope you guys are as well and um you know that's again another one of the changes remember remember i came out here with basically nothing and the fact that um you know i got so much already and i was able to serve not just survive but thrive out here on nothing with nothing you know um you know basically you know just a lot of uh you know hard work and grinding it's pretty amazing but like i was saying you know at the end of the day um as much as i love making these videos and i love doing a lot of things that i was doing you know i gotta get back to my roots i gotta get back to you know what uh the thing that i used to do you know for a living again for those that you didn't know i used to be a chef i used to be a professional cook you know the whole thing and so um i gotten away from that it's basically been almost 10 years it's really been eight years it's been 10 years since i left miami so in january it's 10 years since i left miami eight years eight years since i stopped cooking 
It's been three years since I got married. Yeah, January is like a big month. <laughs> I just I just realized that I didn't even think about it till just now. Pretty interesting. But yeah, all those things happened in January. And so um got a lot to celebrate this month. And we got a lot to celebrate, period, in the story because there's a lot of milestones coming up this year. And um, you know, I'm gonna be able to show you. And we're gonna be, you know, uh doing this together. And it's gonna be awesome as hell. But yeah, let's get back into that. Enough about me. Let's get back into, you know, other things here on my list. I just figured today's episode was just going to be a regular ranting, walking, and talking how we used to do back in the day. Um, because, again, this is how it all started in a sense. You know, just me with my camera walking around, showing you. And, uh, by the way, I was thinking to myself, where am I going to do this episode today? I was thinking about so many places, you know, I wanted to pick as a location. But I said, no, you know, we got to come back to home base here. We got to come back to where it all really, really, really started. And um, this is why we're here walking down Paso Montejo. I, I, had, I used to live right, I remember, right by here. And now I had to come and drive all the way out here um, to do this walking and talking. And show you guys, you know, how much things have changed and how much they haven't changed. And all the in-between about all that. So, yeah, see, look, this place is still kicking it. You know, this has been here the whole time. Still, you know, out there doing its thing. Nice. I like to see businesses that have survived and then new businesses and uh, and all that. And so with that being said, again, you know, we're going to be focusing, you know, on a little bit even more niche on this channel. Again, we're going to be talking about all of the same content that we talk about on this channel. And, and again, it's going to get more in depth. You already know if you guys have been watching, especially the last six months, you guys know what's going on. You know, we're doing some some great stuff out here. and You guys are giving me some, you know, awesome feedback. And so that's what we're going to take it up a notch. You know, we're going to do the whole business thing. Because I feel like a lot of you guys want to know. Because, you know, not everybody's coming out here to build a home. Not everybody's coming out here, you know, in order to, you know, retire. You know, not everybody is coming out here, you know, because they got a fat stacks and, um, and all that good stuff. You know, a lot of people are just basically coming out here, um, you know, just trying to find a better way of life. Let's just be honest, you know, they're trying to find a, a better way, a better a new start a new beginning all that good stuff so and uh and that's and that's the reality of it you know what i mean that's why um you know a lot of you guys i think watch my channel as well because it's not just about talking about the same old same old you know we're not just talking about the same old same old i gotta i gotta yeah sorry <laughs> got a little traffic out here with all these people's and, and all that good stuff but yeah as i was saying you know what i mean it, it's it's a lot of things you know it's um a lot of people are just looking for a brand new fresh start it's not just about uh you know um coming out here to retire or coming out here because you got a lot of money and you got a business that you can already set up and you're really good to go and yada 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 you know again for a lot of you guys you know a lot of people out there you know watching or listening to this you know it's because again you're looking for that guidance that help that you know is so desperately needed out there you know um again i I love making, you know, videos on going to the fair. I love making uh, the touristy videos. I love making videos on uh, the best taco. I love making videos like that. But, you know, the reality is, is that not only do people not really watch it, you know, you guys prefer these kind of videos and you guys prefer this kind of content, talking about these kind of subjects um, because no one else is doing it. And so that's what we're going to keep doubling down and keep talking about what no one else is talking about and show you the reality of what it is out here over and over again. All right. Um, and that's it. You know what I mean? So, you know, over here again, man, you know, for all you old schools, old, old school viewers out there, you guys remember, well, this was kind of like all torn apart. And so was this over here. But now look at that. I don't know who, what happened. I don't know what's going on here, but it seemed like part of the building fell off and they built this. So they put this here. So, which is cool. It's interesting, you know, small little business here got selling ice cream and all kinds of cool stuff so let's check it out real quick now let's get away from uh, from that dreaded uh copyright music um but anyways yeah so this little business just popped up here out of nowhere and um yeah you know what i mean it's just the way it works out here you know the reality is is that things are 
you know just very loosey-goosey out here and so you know we're going to talk about that because there's so many youtube channels out there talking about the fact that you need all these licenses and this you know rfc wxyz lgbt wxyz wwfe you know it's like bro come on man you know you don't you know you see businesses all over the place you see people all over the place doing all kinds of things and they they barely got their you know ged you know what the mexican version of that but you know what i mean it's like come on man get out of here and so um <laughs> you know and if you know anything about illegal immigrants in your own country you can get away with murder i mean well not murder not murder don't 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 do murder but anyways you can get away with just about anything and especially if you're an immigrant you're good to go so what makes you think that you don't get the same exact rights out here so you know we're gonna be talking about that you know and we're gonna be talking about so many so many things you know what i mean and um that you know you guys have uh you know not only loved to watch you know since i've been making content here but you know the same old same old that uh nice bike <laughs> right, yeah you need you need those big ass tires out here for those for all those potholes <laughs> i got big ass tires too, but that's for my big ass <laughs> all right anyways so we're almost here we're almost now where i parked the car all right so I gotta get out of here. We're gonna start ending this. I think we're done here. I think we covered everything on my list. I hope we did. Regardless, I think we had a nice little walk and talk and enjoyed ourselves today um, discussing, you know, uh, I don't know, you know, just the differences, you know, a little walking and talking, a little ranting and ranting, ranting and talking, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed, you know, today's show. I hope really you guys enjoyed, you know, watching. You know the today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching you know all of the videos that i make hope you guys enjoy watching uh you know everything that i do i think you do if you're still watching at this point in the video you probably do and um and i thank you thank you so much for all the love and support you know throughout the years thank you for all the love and support going forward thank you thank you thank you for being so awesome so badass and so so cool you know what i mean the reality is is that you know i, I <laughs> You know, I couldn't have done any of this without you because, I mean, you guys are watching these videos, right? So, <laughs> and that's how it works. So, but anyways, with that being said, with that being said, guys, you already know what's up, all right? If you, like, if you like this kind of content, if you love this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have an amazing, amazing 2023. All right, I hope, you know, uh, everything goes well for you. Um, <laughs> from this point on, from watching this video, I bestow you with the magic, you know, uh, good vibes juju. And uh, again, you know, all the loves and best wishes to you. And uh, man, looking forward to sharing everything we're doing here and then some going forward, all right? So guys, you already know what's up. Thanks again, love you. See you next week, bye.